decided to participate in the volunteer and community program because I had been interested in Benedictine spirituality and I wanted to learn more about this particular ecumenical community. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm a college student in Georgia and I'm studying religion. I decided to come to the volunteer and community program because I was studying so much of the monastic culture and life and texts and I really wanted to see how it was lived out today. So I thought such a great opportunity to come and actually live it for a month. My name is Tisha. I'm uh, currently in between jobs right now. I'm uh, feeling like I'm in the midst of a life transformation. I came here to really pause and I think it's a gift to be able to hit that pause button and to be able to really listen to God and understand and hopefully follow um, the path that he wants us to be on. My name is Noreen and I'm a media consultant from New Jersey. I decided to come to the program because I often, pretty much every year I take time off during the summer to volunteer somewhere. Sometimes it's a short-term missions trip. Um, but then I read about this program and being able to spend time in a monastery with uh, sisters. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just felt like this was a perfect combination of doing what I love to do, which is volunteering, helping, giving back, um, but also in a spiritual Christian environment. My name's Tara, and I'm from East Texas, and I'm a music teacher, and I live with my daughter, Emma, who's a college student. I decided to be a volunteer in community because I fell in love with the community when I saw their website. I thought their website was really attractive and I wanted to get to know the community and the sisters better because um, I really sh am interested in their ecumenical vision and their care for the earth and not many monasteries that I know of have a really organized volunteer program. When I first arrived at the monastery, I, what I saw, you know, the view of driving onto the monastery took my breath away and um, immediately I thought, oh, this is a good place. So I had a perfect first impression. My first day here was really exciting. I uh, got to meet everybody who is a volunteer and everybody has unique stories in and of themselves. So the first day was really about orientation, uh, getting to know my coworkers and fellow volunteers, and just really getting a tour of uh, the monastery. So this is basically how we spend our day. We have a specific schedule that we follow, and it took me a little bit of a while to get used to it. But after I got used to the flow of it, it was more similar to, I guess, a typical school day since I'm a school teacher. So in the morning, you wake up and you have to be silent and it's very hard for me but I got used to it, it's quite nice. So you just go about your day in, in quiet for the morning until you get here and then the first thing you say basically is the words of the Psalms. Starting the day with community prayer um, is interesting to me. I usually start with prayer all by myself. Um, but having that prayer first thing in the morning is a familiar thing. The monastery has taught me that it's okay to hit the pause button, you know, and for three times a day you can go into prayer, and for two times a day, which we've been doing, is a centering prayer for 20 minutes at a time. And to really be able to kind of go in, listen to God's voice, um, ground ourselves, and it's such a gift to be able to do that. After we finish prayer, we go to the garden, usually, or the prairie. When we work outside, we do a variety of activities such as pruning the apple trees or pear trees. We um, hoe the ground and make mounds for the potatoes, the tomatoes. We do weeding. We might pick some spinach or some onions, various things like that. But my favorite thing is the orchards because I get to climb the trees and have a nice view of Madison. It's really great. 
the most challenging thing about being a volunteering community is the work, is the work outdoors, especially for a city girl, you know, like me. Working in the garden is very challenging sometimes. Sometimes when we were working in the garden and it was hot and we were sweaty, I would yell out dance break. And at first everybody thought, like, literally get up and dance. But it just was a funny thing to say so that everybody sort of stopped and that it was okay to put down your um, shovel or your pitchfork or, you know, the dirt and get up and just take a break. And sometimes that meant dancing. Sometimes that meant singing. Just take a drink of water and rest for a moment. I think that the work is a large part of the volunteering community program because of the vision statement of the sisters. The big pieces of why they live together in community is to care for the earth. By restoring that, um, they are doing what they feel most passionate about. Are working hard in the garden and in the prairie, and um, sometimes it can be really challenging, but when we hear the bell ring and know that our shift is done, we just very merrily march up the hill and are excited to be able to sit down and have dinner together and, you know, relax in between our work sessions. Meals and community are very important here at the monastery because it's an opportunity for uh, us to be in community and to talk about our day, what did we do that morning or that afternoon. Um, it's an opportunity to uh, partake in great food. There is great food here at the monastery. Lunch! Ah, it's so good, so you don't even know. Okay, Barbara is the best. She's a master chef and she just makes all these delicious things and it's just the best after you work outside for so long in the sun. We talk about food a lot while we work, <laughs> so it's nice. Having dinner and lunch with the nuns and retreatants is very interesting. We get to ask them questions about their lives and talk about things that really matter and it's very, it's meaningful and sometimes really fun at the same time. Just say silly things as well. One of the aspects of the volunteer community program is classes on different aspects of Benedictine spirituality. And so we've learned centering prayer, we've studied Lexio Divina, we've studied the whole history of the Benedictine order and how it began. I like the fact that we have different instructors teaching each class because you get a different uh, viewpoint and just a different way of someone explaining it to you. What I've learned about Benedictine spirituality, it wasn't a ter term familiar that was familiar to me, but uh, some of the principles and practices are very familiar. I just didn't know the lingo. We all come from different faith backgrounds and different practices that we've had. Um, and so I think it, it's just been uh, interesting to get to know people on a personal level. But I think being at the monastery allows you to go even exponentially beyond the conversation of your personal life. It's going deep into the soul of who you are. Outside of our normal day, w during our free time, we spent quite a lot of time together as volunteers. And we went to the lake one day and we went downtown and got to hear the symphony playing on the Capitol steps, which was really, really fun, outdoor festival. I think the the downtime and the recreation time is just as important because I really grew closer to the other volunteers and I felt like we also grew closer to the sisters because it was a more relaxed atmosphere and we were having fun. Some of the things I think I'll take away from this experience is an, a, a true appreciation of spirituality in the daily life, whether it's work, prayer, or just recreation. I think I um, will try to make that presence more tangible. You know, in, in theory, you know that it's true that Christ desires for you to feel his presence and to know he's around um, in everything that you do. But I think that we have to make that tangible in our lives because otherwise we'll get busy and we'll forget. I think the challenge that we have as being part of community is not to be so inwardly focused in that community, but to know there's a whole community outside. This particular program gave me a chance to experience the rhythm of the monastic community here to go to prayers with them, to eat with them, to work at the times that they would work. Um, you know, community is something you have to experience. And 
what is community, what does it take, what do you have to bring to it, um, that in order to get even a piece of that, I had to be here.